dates and coffee breaks, Tuesdays and random Good days. Good morning from a minus 1.5. Oh God, what's going on with these headphones? Minus 1.5 this morning. I am freezing. Uh, I'm sorry if like my camera's shaking or anything. You're just resting on my steering wheel and I've just got the engine on and I'm waiting for the window screen to defrost because it is that cold i left my water bottle in here overnight and it was literally frozen this morning so i've just sorted that out um but anyway it is saturday morning and do you know what it's been a minute since i actually did a like vlog that's on the weekend because obviously my weekends look very different to my midweek at weekends nowadays i do try and make it a weekend and not be working i think one of the things with this job sometimes is like you don't know when to start I feel like i'm always ticking thinking oh i need to tiktok i need to instagram i need to do this like i need to film this and that i feel like this is shaking isn't it let me just turn that i've got to keep the engine on but i don't want it to like impede this intro let me do the intro first and then i'll sort the screen out then anyway what i'm trying to get at in a very long winded way is my weekends i try and just you know zen out a bit um take time for me and mitchell see my family and not be like too pressured and working on the weekends because it's easily done especially when you're doing things you're always like oh that's a moment to vlog that's a moment to do that and it's great like i enjoy doing it but also sometimes it is just nice to switch off and like not think about having to get this moment and get this and actually like live in the moment but saying that i do actually have a really nice weekend planned this weekend so i thought you know what i am just gonna vlog because it's been a minute and it's nice when my we're up to something like some weekends is chill some weekends are more on the go and doing things and yes yeah, so it is like 10 20 now i have been up like put a wash load on all that boring household stuff um what else have i done is that it i had breakfast do you know what i mean i've just potted around um and anyway i thought right you know what get up go to the gym stay in good habits for the new year it's my fifth time this week i feel so proud of myself like i'm slowly easing myself in now you know i'm not some like fitness guru or you know i'm not there yet not that I'm ever going to be there. But do you know what I mean? Like, I'm feeling good just for getting there and, like, making a workout and doing that. So, going gym. And actually, at 2 o'clock today, me and Danielle actually have a nail appointment. So, we're having a bit of a girl's afternoon, which is so nice because we don't often get to do that because, obviously, she's a busy mom. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to pick her up about one-ish. And we're going back to the guild room. So, I've not really spoke about this. I'm going to keep it short and sweet because, obviously, I don't ever want to, like, tarnish anyone's business or anything like that. But me and Danielle actually went there before Christmas. Now, just a disclaimer... I was a full paying customer you know i didn't get it gifted or anything like i'll always disclose if i get something gifted um but it just opened and it looked unreal and it is unreal like we had such a lovely afternoon there the girls in there were all so nice uh the decor is honestly amazing you can have cocktails and drinks and stuff while you have your nails done and anyway we thought we'd try the biob gel nail because i've heard so many good reviews of like how you know it makes your nails last longer and all of that stuff makes your nails last longer no improves your nail length and is better for your nails that's what i was trying to say anyway to cut a very long story short mine started peeling after like four or five days they chipped i just wasn't impressed i paid like 40 something pound so did danielle i messaged her she had the same problem so do you know what i was just gonna leave it because i didn't want to complain because the girl that did my nails was so lovely and i'm one of these people that yeah okay it's annoying and it shouldn't happen but I just didn't want the girl to get in trouble so i thought i'm gonna leave it and then i kind of like put some up my instagram just saying about my buyout but i didn't mention the place because obviously i didn't want to like do you know what i mean like bring attention to them but anyway they then clicked on it was about them because they followed me and then they reached and i didn't realize they followed me anyway then they reached out oh wait here's mitchell then they reached out and said would you like to come back for complimentary nails like we're so sorry this shouldn't have happened i don't know what's going on like we're looking into it like that's not how we work so anyway we're giving them another chance oh i don't think he's realized i'm in the car he's literally not realized i'm sat in the car so anyway we're giving them another chance today and i'm hoping i'm really am keeping my fingers crossed like they're going to be much better and they last us a long time because me and daniel were saying like this could be our spot like genuinely if my nails are good and they last me like three four weeks like they normally do well no i normally go for an infill like every two and a half weeks so if they're at that stage where they just stay on kind of thing and i can go for an infill every like three weeks let's say i'll be so happy and we will continue to go there because me and danielle were saying it's just so nice to have like a once a month trip where we can book a day catch up get our nails done so anyway that's what's happening this afternoon and then later this evening me and mitchell are actually going on a date night that we don't often do like 
proper like activity date nights like we go for food but that's about it but there's a film on at the cinema called is it megan um i feel like it's a little bit horror but it's not horror like i w watch the trailer and things like that don't actually freak me out so anyway i proved it we're gonna watch megan at the cinema and also um i actually have like a voucher that i got from christmas from someone um and you can use it at wagamama's and i love wagamama's so much so we're gonna go wagamama's cinema date so excited and then tomorrow i were actually booked in um for a roast dinner i can't remember where mitchell's booked but we're going out with his brother sister-in-law and niece so so excited for that as well i'm gonna show I really need to get in the gym now so um that's so funny Mitchell's put have you gone out <laughs> she just walked past there anyway guys I have rambled way too long in this intro I'm so cold and my window screen still isn't de-iced so I need to get myself in the gym and I will I don't even know if I'll like vlog in the gym honestly January gym crazy crazy so busy like it's mental um but anyway I might see you after <laughs> I'm walking, but all these thoughts are running. Yelling, catch me if you can. And I'm wondering if I should chase behind or stop wondering. Okay, excuse my bright red face now. Do you know what? I always feel like, right? Obviously, you guys know the drill. I do have like quite bad under eye bags. Um, but I always feel like when I've got a hat on, obviously, like, it accentuates it because I feel like it shadows it more. So I don't wear a hat. But then today, it was just, like, one of those days where I just wanted to shove a hat on to go to the gym. So, anyway, yeah, I'm bright red. Been to the gym. Had quite a good session, to be fair. Did 20 minutes cross training, 10 minutes rowing. Honestly, love the rowing. I feel like, oh, it's hard. And it just, like, you really feel like you're having a good workout, like, everywhere. Um, and then I just did some abs on the mats. Um, so yeah, nothing that thrilling today. But anyway, going to the gym is better than nothing at all. So I'm feeling very happy that I've managed to keep it up. I think I might nip into M&S on the way back and just get some like protein. Um, I really like, you know the um, like prawn um, and it's like a sweet chili dip. They do it in the meal, well it's not a meal deal, but they do it in the meal deal fridge at M&S. I love that from there. And I also really like the chicken they do. It's like a yogurty mint sauce. I think you dip it in, it's so nice. The blooming expensive though. So that will be a treat if I buy that. Cause normally I'm like, I can't just buy spending three pound on them, but they're just so nice. So anyway, gym done, half 11. I'm now gonna get home, shower and get ready to meet Danielle. She, like I say, our appointment's at two, so I think her dad's coming around to babysit at one. Um, so I'll probably get hers at like one-ish and then head into town. I'm so excited. We're actually going baby shopping as well today um, for my sister-in-law, Heather, um, because she is pregnant and expecting a baby soon. Well, it's a boy. We know who it is. It's a boy. Um, so, so exciting. So I've got a list of things I need to get. Um, you know, just make like a really cute like little present hamper kind of thing. Um and yeah i thought who's better to go baby shopping with than danielle because obviously danielle's got a kid she knows a bit more about these things than me i mean i can shop for clothes that is what i can do but you know like other bits i'm not really that sure about so yeah that's gonna be exciting i love shopping um right i'm going now because i can't even look at myself with how red i look uh, i'll see you probably when i get home okay apologies for the awful light i've literally got to put you down here because look it is oh it's not too bad but it's so sunny um so gym's done i got home quickly had a shower and freshened up um just put his jacket on again because it's so cold danielle was like do not dress up i am in well just chill comfy and she was like don't be all glam oh sorry the lighting is a pain when it's a star let me just try and move back see if that's any better oh yeah much better um so yeah anyway she said pick her up at quarter past it's literally quarter past now but me knowing danielle I've known her for 10 years. She's never on time. Never on time. So Danielle's quarter past is more like 20, 25 past. So I thought I'd just nip up Starbucks um, and grab us a coffee. Um, I don't know what she wants. And to be fair, like I don't, I don't really... Last time we was together, she was saying that she's like me with decaf. No, caffeine, sorry. It feels a bit funny. Anyway, I've just all of the same as uh, uh, what I have. Ice caramel mac, decaf, almond milk. So hopefully she likes it. I know she likes the ice caramel macs. I know it's really cold. And she's probably going to be like, why have you got a nice coffee? But I always drink iced coffee all year round. And it's just my favourite. So anyway, I'm going to quickly nip in and get that. I've ordered it on my phone just to save time. And then I'm going to pick Danielle up. Really looking forward to a girl's day. Like, we don't do this enough. We both have said this. Um, obviously, it's difficult for her. Like I say, when you're a mom. You know, it's like, 
managing working looking after your child spending time with them but then obviously managing like seeing your partner social life like i get it so yeah whenever we can grab an opportunity just to you know see each other if it's for an hour an afternoon a day like we do so yeah i'm really looking forward to getting our nails done and just catching up and stuff because when was the last time we caught up i bumped into her funny enough the other day when we were just like out and about have i seen her after christmas i feel like i yes no oh my I don't even know. I don't think I have. Anyway, let me go and grab my Starbucks um, before I'm really late for Danielle. Here she is. Here we are. <laughs> Woo! I'm vlogging today, by the way. Oh. Um, I got you a drink. I didn't know if you wanted oh one. Oh my God. <laughs> Give a kiss. <laughs> oh, I've just got just you the same that I got. What so. I need. Yeah. So. She's here. My dad's just pulled up to take Amelia. Mm hmm. Obviously, while we go out. And I think I said, are you okay to make us some lunch? He said, yeah, I can make us some lunch. He said, well, I was going to go to McDonald's. <laughs> I said, she had a McDonald's on Thursday. So now Amelia's having a tantrum because she wanted a McDonald's because Grandad said that he'd uh... go to McDonald's. So now Amelia's on her third cheeseburger of the week. <laughs> Life when you're a kid though, isn't it? Yeah. Gotta love McDonald's. Right, anyway, picked Danielle up. She was actually relatively on I was just saying to the to Ving, like, we have this unwritten rule. So if you say to me quarter past, I'm gonna turn up for like 20, 25 past, because. Or 22. <laughs> yeah. But you're actually really good today. I thought I'd be waiting here till like. Have you just pulled up? Like about 20 past. So I thought like five minutes later, do you know what I mean? Hmm. So you've done really well. I'm really. I can't believe this, mate. Yeah, I don't know if it's what you have, but. It is a caramel milk. Yeah. Have you got oat milk or normal milk? I've actually given you almond milk. Do you like almond oh, milk? I don't, I've never had almond milk. Yeah, no, it's, I like it with almond milk. It tastes like mar marzipan, though. No, I don't like marzipan. Yeah, Actually, pick up the other bit better. I might actually pick up the vlog because I never ever do. Me and Daniel are now in ZZ's, had our nails done. <laughs> yeah, no comment. Yeah, it's beautifully there. It is nice there. I like, actually like it. How are your nails? Yeah, fresh set. Anyway, um, what do you normally have in here? Well, I don't know because they changed the menu. Um, there is like a nice spicy one up here that they do now. I used to have the pasta deli oh, casserole. Oh, they do risotto. Um, the pal. Oh, yeah, I remember you having that. Get off the menu here. Oh, no, no, look, it's back on again. Okay, they took it off and they put it back on, but I had it at the one at um, the Park Park. Oh, I'm going to have a little look. I don't know what I found there. Dinner is served. Danielle was just nearly at a moment. <laughs> right, I'll let you know how this is because I've never ever tried the risotto. I've gone for a risotto. We've got cheesy garlic bread and you've gone for something I don't think you can even say, can you? Uh, Parmish. Summit pie. <laughs> Looks delicious though. It does, it's really nice. And it's not like overly spicy, it's just about that. Yeah, I can't take no spice. So, we have finished up in ZZ's. What was your food like? Absolutely horrific. <laughs> <laughs> We're not having a good day, are we? Such a bad manicure and a bad food. Mine was not good at all. I wouldn't recommend the risotto, guys. It was well weird. Um, anyway, we're now in next because I've got. You can't because they've had the season. I'm not going to show. I'm not going to show what I'm picking up. But we're just in next, and we're just looking at all the baby stuff um, because I've already mentioned this. My sister-in-law <laughs> is having a baby, so I'm taking none other than Danielle because she's an expert in this field. I won't say I'm an expert, but you've got a baby. We've been here. <laughs> <laughs> they have so much cool stuff in next, don't they? I just don't think there's nothing. There's honest to God, there's nothing better. Than a baby in a plain white baby grow. Yeah, it I just agree. It literally isn't. Oh god. <laughs> uh oh, Danielle's oh. getting broody now. I am broody, Danielle. <laughs> just, it just one minute you don't want any more children, and then the next. Then minute, you see the baby stuff, the, and you're the, like, the oh. bomb comes and it just hits you like a sack of. Alright, anyway, I am gonna have a little look off camera. Peace out. Time. 
Okay guys, it's been a very fast change around today. Now you see Danielle, now you don't. I've dropped her off and I'm back where I started, up high cross. Deja um, vu. It's deja vu for me. So literally dropped Danielle off, we finished our baby shopping, dropped her off home and then hit Mitchell up because now it's date night. Why does and so We haven't done it? this in so long. I, I don't know if we've ever done food then maybe we probably have ones probably yeah none waggers and cinema we've literally got an hour and does it actually start at eight you got adverts in there you? yeah so we're cool hopefully we can be in and out so i'm not going to chew you as up long um but yeah come on date night first i'm so excited for waggers do you know what you're having one of the salmon teriyaki mm, i don't know what to have i always have katsu chicken i know everyone has that but then last time i had a pad thai i was saying to mitchell i really like the salmon teriyaki from there so i don't know i think you should go for that mm, i don't know i'll see how what i find something is boring isn't it? everyone has it mm. it's good cool. yeah all right bye, bye. Sé lo que me está pasando. Siento que. Bye, guys. We're in the cinema. We made it actually much earlier than we expected. We're in and out with Wagamamas. It is 7 43. Starts at 8, but obviously, you know, it doesn't really start at 8 because it bothers you all the adverts. Just spent an absolute bomb on <laughs> popcorn. Don't know why we do it. To be fair, I started bringing my own popcorn and sweets, but. I was in a rush today, so I did them. And you didn't go out and get any. Didn't go out and get any goods, did you? They're awful. Mitchell got the, what are they called? White popcorn. Yeah, it's not focusing, hon. It's not gonna focus. <laughs> oh, it's this focusing. Yeah, that's what you Absolute got. Absolute Awful. Pain. They taste really soggy. I've just got a sanded uh, sweet, but do you know what? I've said this before. I don't feel like I'm sweet popcorn. Yeah, the drinks machine was really good. So many sweet popcorn flavors. never tastes sweet in the cinema no more. I feel like they've gone, like they've took the sugar off them. Yeah, they have, yeah. It's awful. Sugar tax. Ridiculous. I want sweet popcorn. Like, I'm coming to enjoy something. I'm coming to enjoy Don't it. What? Brought some sugar. I know. Or just some like syrup or sauce to put on them. Anyway, we're just I'm saying. Gonna... We don't feel like the seats are as good. Well, they're obviously not as good here. Oh, yeah, we did get some of them as well. m and Crunchies. Um, yeah, the seats are rubbish. Yeah, yeah if you want to go to a good cinema, you need we to go to what is it? We've more and got the an upgrade. What a different room? Different room. I said this to you. I would have rather done that. I said this to you. It was bigger seats, extra leg room. Well, we've got loads of leg room. Yeah, I'm not bothered about leg room. I just want to like lay back on my I'm thing. One vertical, isn't it? One vertical. I feel like any vertical. I'm going to put my head through the screen. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I think we've realised now after, I'm our, not comfy, so after our amazing I might sit on the <laughs> After our good experience at the, was it Odeon Lux? Mm. They were so good seats. I mean, I did pick wrong. I picked a seat right in the room, didn't I? But it wasn't yeah, bad when you were Yeah, basically, she thought, the seating plan, she thought it was the opposite way around, so she wanted to get seats at the back, but she got them at the front, and we was like, we had neck ache. We were looking at the back of our seats, and I was like... It was like this. They're not here. A's not here. Oh no, A's at the front. No, it weren't bad because you could lay back, wasn't it? It actually wasn't bad at all. This is ridiculous. This is bad. Oh, I'm so not comfortable. Anyway, we're going to stop moaning about the seats and just hopefully the film's good. Watching Megan, so I'll give you a full review after. I won't it tell you. Good, it? What are you chucking for? I don't mean to. I was just, I was just like. It does look good. So yeah. And scary. On Saturday night. What a lovely date. It's been amazing. I mean, company could be better. Hmm. Hi. Shining, I've been fine. like an All right. Thank you for that. Um, good morning, everyone. So, didn't actually pick up the vlog after the cinema. We've not given the full lowdown on Megan. And like what we thought of it, so what you can make it. So I don't know if I even told you what film I was going to go and watch last night. I probably did. But we went to watch the Megan film, which is what would you classify it as a horror thriller? No. I wouldn't say it's horror, would you? It's not. It wasn't scary at thriller. all. Thriller. What was your thoughts? Uh, I thought it was alright. It was a good watch. Yeah. It's it was a, a bit weird. weird. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you do that? <laughs> Literally gonna say the same thing, like it was a little bit weird. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like they could have made it better. I kind of was just wanting a little bit more. She was a bit of a psycho, weren't she? Yeah, like it was really good. But do you know like when she went witch 
Oh, I probably shouldn't tell people if they watched it. But yeah, anyway, I think like if you want something to watch at cinema, it was an easy watch. Like it kept me gripped the whole just, like time we was watching it. I'd probably give it a seven out of ten. Six point five. I'd say a seven point eight. Seven point eight. I enjoyed it. Yeah, no, I was gonna say like I didn't six really is low. Phone, like looking at the timer. And, That's like, what I'm saying. So I'd, I'd say like a definite seven because I was gripped. It wasn't a film where I was sat in the cinema thinking, oh god, like when's it gonna be over? It's boring. Like it grips you. It's just slightly weird. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, we had a lovely cinema date. Also had a nice waggers date as well, didn't we? You tried something new. Yeah, salmon teriyaki, it was quite nice. Oh, which I recommend it. And to be fair, I was really gutted that I didn't go for that after Mitchell had it. I had the katsu curry, so that used to be like my OG staple at waggers. Um, and I haven't had it in ages, and I normally get like all the noodle dishes and try something different. But I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm gonna go for the katsu curry because I've not had it in a while. And then I had it and I was a bit like, I'm actually over it now. Like, I, I prefer other things on the menu. Like, that salmon dish is oh, well nice. Are. Yeah. The, the katsu curry is just as good from Costco. Oh, guys, yeah. If you haven't had it from Costco, I mean, Mitchell had one. When was it? Like, a few weeks ago. Just yeah. after Christmas, wasn't it? But to be fair, I didn't really enjoy it then because I was still poorly, so I didn't really eat a lot, did I? Yeah, it was good, though. Yeah. It's on par with waggers. Yeah. To be fair, it was decent. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that is our overview of our date night. It's now Sunday, so it is half 11. We've had a bit of a slow morning, and we are just shooting up to a retail park near us. Um, I don't know if my, I've done an order for next, so I don't know if it's been, I don't know if it's there yet, because I could pick that up. Just gonna bit and bob, and then we are actually going out for dinner again today. We've got a busy weekend this weekend. It's like all or nothing with us. We either stay in, like cook, or we're just out mm. all the time eating, aren't we? We need a little food. Um, it's food is life. So it's one of Mitchell's um, bookings today for the Sunday dinner. So we've got this thing where we like to go and try out Sunday dinner at different places. We're on the quest for like, is that the word quest? Search? Mission. Mission. We're on the mission to find like the best Sunday dinner in Leicester, Leicestershire. So today we're going. Cheers, me bath. Whereabouts is that? Like, what's the like, location? Like, know, where's it near? Right, I don't know. Um, I feel like it's about half an hour drive from us, isn't it? It's not like local, local. So yeah, gonna go there and test it out. You, where did you even get that? Oh, it was from P, wasn't it? Yeah. Good old P. So, it was so the best one. Best one. Mm. So yeah, we will let you know. Chief food critics over here. We'll let. Oh probably wasn't a good idea yeah we'll let you know what we think of the sunday dinner i look rough as anything today i just can't be bothered i've shook this jo uh, jacket on i've obviously changed what i'm wearing i've just put a long sleeve top from zara some cargoes changed my shoes to my nikes today and um i've just put this coat on and then i tell you why because the weather is so bitter and cold at the moment i don't even feel like dressing up do you know when it's that cold like you look in your wardrobe and you think i can't even bother to like be stylish or be fashionable because i'm just so cold and this is from zara and it's actually like an insulated um like warm winter coat like it's so warm like it's one of my warmest coats um so yeah i just don't want to wear anything else really so that's the story with that anyway i'm gonna shut up because this is boring now bye She was trying to drink for the first time. Don't drink <laughs> I want to get you impression. Okay. What have you gone for? I think it's got a thing on. Honey and hazelnut. I don't know if you're going to like that. And I have gone for a classic hot chocolate. And I've also gone for scummy skimmed milk because I actually prefer it in a hot chocolate. It gives it like, a little bit more sweetness. I literally have no time to talk and I'm holding my camera like this because people are literally getting in the car park as I'm speaking because I have a Pilates class in seven minutes time. I have just put my foot down to get to the gym because I looked at the time and I was like, oh my God, I thought I had loads of time. Just quickly rammed a um, protein, peanut and chocolate Nature Valley bar down me because I felt really hungry because the class is at 12. I think I have already said that. Then I've only had like a bowl of cornflakes. 
not cornflakes like crunchy nuts this morning so i just yeah i feel hungry because it's kind of like lunch time but i'll obviously have lunch after um so anyway going to pilates i did abs and legs yesterday and i am absolutely aching like oh my god my legs ache so i'm hoping it's going to sort me out because obviously pilates is like low intensity and oh, it's so nice i actually really enjoy this class so anyway i don't even have chat to can't even speak i didn't even have time to chat to you and intro this segment of the vlog properly so i will see you after pilates i obviously won't be able to vlog in there because yeah it's just awkward but yeah Ooh. pilates class now sorry about that i feel like i was in a mad rush and i was like oh i need to pick up my vlog and actually like start the day off um so anyway hello it is a new day from when i last picked up the vlog which i believe was at the weekend it was supposed to be a weekend vlog but then when i actually went to edit the footage back i was a bit like there's not really a lot going on like i know you guys like a mix of like shorter and longer vlogs so i think i'm gonna give this like a good fact no it'd probably be like a 40 minute vlog oh, as opposed to an hour um but yeah i just felt like it just needed a bit more substance so i just thought i'd carry on today this morning i've just been doing emails admin that kind of stuff on my laptop um and then oh i also went and just nipped in to see my dad because it's like a holiday so I had a cup of tea with him um dropped my costco card off to him because he needed to borrow it for fuel and, and yeah then at 12 o'clock i had my pilates class which i'm not gonna lie i was a bit like oh do i go do i not because yesterday i went to abs and legs and oh my god it absolutely killed me like i thought body pump was hard that literally is 10 times harder than body pump in my opinion so high intensity i was struggling and there was like so many older people than me like 30 40 years on me literally like smashing it and i was like this just one shows how unfit i am and two like if they can do it then i definitely can build up i kind of walked out the class thinking never again but i thought no do you know what i need to keep going because the only way i'm going to get like fitter stronger and get to their level is by going so yeah reluctantly going to book on for next week it's only a 45 minute class but let me tell you after like 20 minutes i was looking at the clock thinking oh my god when is this going to end it was awful it was like burpees um squats but like jumping squats and things like oh it was intense um so yeah i was aching at pilates today like normally i find pilates not easy but obviously it's a lot lower intensity so i can do the ab workouts and stuff a lot more yeah like easier but today i was struggling with how much i was aching from yesterday um anyway i needed to nip up to the retail part now because i wanted to have a look in home sense for some organizational bits because i'm going to film like a full just basically like house organization video i feel like i said this before january is always the month to go through your house go through drawers cupboards whatever it may be and just organize get everything uniformed and neat and try and maintain it throughout the year and um, i feel like i don't know unless you're like a serial or serial is that the word serially organized that's probably not the right terminology but do you know what i mean like you get serial organizers right so some people like live their life like that all the time and i am someone that does try on the whole to keep everywhere organized and to be fair i wouldn't say by any means like cupboard i've got like really messy cupboards but some of them have just got a little bit untidy um and also i feel like some need better storage solutions that's kind of like what's causing the problem so yeah gonna go through that also need to nip through hobby craft i really want to make a canvas i picked up some stuff the other week um but i was just waiting on like the letters to come in stock it's the like molly may canvas that i've seen everyone doing on um tiktok and i just thought it looked really fun to do and i don't know like i quite like it so yeah i'm gonna have a go at one of those and this afternoon i thought we could make a red velvet mini like lunchbox cake again don't know if you guys have seen them on tiktok um but they're these little like mini cakes and i actually when i went in b&m the other week found these little love heart tins oh um, that's travel announcement tra traffic announcement yeah i found these little mini love heart like cake tins and i thought oh my god how adorable would that be to make a little cake and also you guys know how it is sometimes you don't want a big cake like you don't want to make a big cake um so anyway let's make some mini red velvet cakes i've not done red velvet in so long i'm gonna decorate it cute and could be a little idea if you want to do something nice valentine's day but you know not spend a ton of money and do something quite fun to do so something quite fun to do something quite fun for you to make if you're like me that's quite like crafty and enjoys baking and stuff like that anyway rambling far too long i feel like i'm just doing that thing though where it's like it's so cold i didn't bring a coat out and I just want to stay in my car with my heated seats on but 
I'm gonna move because I've got a big to-do list today that I need to crack on with. I've got a few TikToks to film, a few branded things. So yeah, we need to move. Let's get in the shops. Okay, guys, I have just got in from my little outing. Well, I say just got in. I've been in about 20 minutes now. Um, I've just left my camera in the car, so I'm actually on my phone, as you can see. Um, I'm so cold because obviously I've just got changed that I don't want to run back and get my camera. I will at some point. But I wanted to race back and get home to quickly film this little reel that I'm doing for TikTok. So I'm just in the middle of the filming. So I'm just doing a PLT reel. So whilst I was filming it, I thought, you know what? I'll quickly just give you a little mini haul because um, I picked up a few bits I won't show you everything that I got um, just because I've already filmed part of it. So I'm doing like part one, part two. So I always like to do three to four outfits in every reel. That's like an unwritten rule for me. Um, so yeah, I've got three like more kind of dressy going out outfits. So this is actually like a bustier bandeau top and then some like trousers. The fit of this is actually stunning. Like I really like the trousers. A little bit long, but I always have this problem. Always have this problem. Um, so I think if I'm to keep them, I probably will get them taken up just slightly. Um, and the top is lovely, but I definitely think they designed the tops. Sorry, I'm literally completely flashing there. Um, I've had to put this like really padded bra on though, because they definitely designed the top for like girls that have had pube jobs. And obviously I have heard I've got smaller boobs. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this outfit. I just think few alterations and it'd be perfect. And if you guys know me well by now, you know, I love an all black outfit and it's nice because I think you can put like, if you wanted a pop of color, you could put like a little pink bag on or beige um, or just something to take away from too much black. Anyway, let me get cracking because I haven't actually done this one yet. Okay, just gonna quickly show you the next outfit. So again, um, like I said, more dressier, but they are all like trouser sets that I've picked up. So this obviously is a matching coordinate. I'm I feel like they're doing a different colour. Not too sure. But this is like... What colour are we going to call this? Like a taupe stone? Light brown? <laughs> In that palette anyway. I really, really like this. I'm wearing a size 8. Never know what size to get in PLT. But I always find if I order 10s... I'm in between. I've said this before. I'm not a 9. No, I'm not an 8. I'm not a 10. I'm a 9. Um, but I feel like with something like this, I didn't want it like oversized. I wanted it really fitted. So yeah, I think that 8 goes well. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. And I feel like the length is much better than the black bottoms because it doesn't drag on the floor. Only thing is, I'm kind of missing the pockets. But um, yeah, I really, really like this. I think I'm going to keep this one because what I did is I ordered loads so then I can, you know, work out what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to return. Because as you always know, there's a few things that you might try and be like, oh, doesn't fit or don't quite like it on myself or change my mind. So yeah, but I'm going out for Chinese this Saturday. So I need something to wear. And I think this is quite like smart, cash. Well, no, it's definitely dressy. But do you know what I mean? I, I like this. Okay, it's definitely getting darker. Um, last outfit. So I took the bar off just because it felt a little bit too bulky. So again, wearing a size eight and everything. Um, this is the top. I really like this because of the asymmetric like hem on it. Um, just thought it was something different. However, I'm not sure if it goes right with these trousers because we've got the kind of like really cinched and elasticated waist. It kind of like bulks out a bit over here. So uh, maybe with the right trousers. I don't know. What do you think? I'm not sure, but I just really liked that because it was something different. I have to see what trousers they've got on the website. I feel like they do have cargoes on the website, but maybe they're a more kind of like slimline pair, not so like elasticate on the band. But yeah, I really, really like the top. It was like £12, I think. So I think it's really good, like going out basic and will see me through to kind of like spring, summer. Um, so I'm definitely keeping that. And I really like these trousers, to be honest with you. Like I say, I feel like maybe a different top, not sure. I think it kind of goes... You could even probably like fold that in if you wanted to show more of the waistband. Like that's cute. Um, oh, that is cute. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the trousers are really nice as well. Again, like I say, gone for the eight just because I am hitting the gym every day at the moment. And if I get the tens, I just feel like by the time I've not finished my gym routine, because I'm like trying to just make it part of my lifestyle now, but I'm guessing I might obviously tone up and maybe you know, just naturally with that lose a little bit of weight. And if I go more to a size eight again, um, I don't obviously then want to have like loads of clothes that don't like a too, too big. So yeah, they just fit nice. Um, and they're really comfortable on the leg as well. They're not like too tight on the thigh area. They just fit really, like I say, good. Um, so yeah, I'm really chuffed with this. I feel like the trousers look so much more expensive than what they were as well. So yeah, anyway, that is my little PLT haul. I will leave links to everything that I have mentioned just in the description bar in case you did want to have a little look. Um, and like I say, the part 
wanted this is on my TikTok in a real format and it's all like active wear, some really, really nice bits. So yeah, definitely have a little look at that as well. Um, but right, I have now tidied the kitchen. I'm constantly tidying this mess for the blooming cats. Um, this is the current state. Took my clothes off here. Chucking trying to... <laughs> my bra that is so embarrassing let me put that there and then um i've not really shown you what i picked up from the shops earlier but basically we're going to make them little love heart cakes i chucked the um here they are oh that's perfect so i've got two of these i'm going to make the little love heart cakes pick these up from hobby craft i think they're like one pound fifty and then i also noticed they did these little boxes so like i was saying guys if you want to make someone for valentine's day a little cake um then i think this is a really cute thoughtful thing so we're going to do that later mitch is actually going football tonight with his brother so that means i've got a night bacon also got something exciting in there but i can't really show you because i don't know who watches my vlogs so i'll show you that next week in next week's vlog you'll see that so i just thought i'd show you this while i saw it on the side um armani lipstick the shade is 500. If any of you wanted to know what I'm now wearing on my lips since the Charlotte Tilbury has been discontinued, it is this. And I love it. I think I actually prefer it to the Charlotte Tilbury. It's more moisturising. It's got a little bit of a, not a gloss because I'm not a gloss gal, but yeah, it just have more of a sheen, which helps it moist, like be moisturising. And I really, really like it. So yeah, loving that. Um, anyway, let me finish tidying up. I think my cats have gone upstairs. They're normally like here watching me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna quickly put my tracksuit back on and we'll carry on our evening together. You thought chase behind to stop wondering and try to take a stand. Oh, and they keep asking where the hell I'm going. I just forgot to pick up the vlog. Mitchell is home now. We've just cooked dinner together. Teamwork. Makes a dream work, lad. <laughs> and we've got enchiladas tonight with a little side salad. Looks delicious now. For the hardest task of the evening, finding something to watch on Netflix. Isn't it just such a chore when you don't have a series that like you're ongoing? But well, we do have one series, but it's a one a week type mm. thing. So we don't have like anything actually on the box at the moment to watch. So now to try and find something to disguise Mitchell's munching. <laughs> Good evening guys. So it's a little later on now. Obviously had dinner, I've shown you that very quickly. Just kind of like chilled out on the sofa for an hour or so with Mitchell. And now he has just gone out um, to watch football because sometimes, like now and again, when there's like a football match on, he'll go to the pub with his brother, um, which I actually like really enjoy. It's funny because he's always like, oh, is it okay if I go to the football tonight? And I'm like, yeah, you go, like, absolutely. Like, anyone more late when you live with someone 24 seven, like, sometimes it's just nice to have, like, an evening on your own. Like, I've said this before, but I really enjoy my own company. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love, obviously, my evenings with Mitchell, and obviously, I do enjoy living with him. But sometimes, like, just nothing beats an evening in, on your own, like, no one in the house, and you can just, do what you want <laughs> because as much as I can do what I want when Mitchell's here like sometimes he'll be like what are you doing like why are you upstairs come downstairs and do you know what I mean like I can't sometimes have my own space like he always wants to um hang out with me or do you know what I mean so yeah my kind of evening is not going out to the pub and watching football my kind of evening is putting something on Amazon which is seeming to be a problem I've tried to like put it all on this tv in the kitchen but it keeps flashing for some reason so it might have to be Netflix I'm gonna put like a nice film on or something um, and do some baking because that's what I really enjoy doing and also I've got two cakes to practice for um, which I'm really excited to do actually this year because I've not done any cakes yet I feel like last year I was all booked out um, with family members and stuff and this year um, yeah I haven't done any yet so I did mention what I was going to do earlier but just to show you I'm going to make a little Valentine's Day cake so I just thought this would be really good to do one just to show you guys um, in case you want to like make your other half a little cute Valentine's Day cake or for Galentine's like you want to make your best your little cake or if like me you just like baking um so i think i'm going to do enough mixture to do two cakes um but obviously i'll have to put it in the oven like in two goes but to be fair they won't take that long to bake i don't think normally i would just make the mixture each time if i was making a cake because you're not really supposed to leave your cake mixture standing for long once you've made it up um and then please excuse the state of the kitchen <laughs> um I've just put some cupcakes out. I mean, I don't know how many I'll do. Probably won't do this many because I'm obviously using some of the mixture. It'll probably only be six. But yeah, I probably will have some leftover mixture to do. Well, I don't know if I will. Maybe I will. I don't know. But yeah, I've 
Good. Yeah, actually, I won't because it is a cupcake recipe. So I probably will only have enough for maybe six. I don't even know, guys. <laughs> I've put some there just in case. Anyway, as always, I have weighed everything out, which you guys know is my favourite way to bake. It's more enjoyable. I haven't got to stress myself. Everything's here than I need. Um, so I will leave the recipe in the description box. I have made this recipe before. It's Jane's Patisserie Red Velvet. It is the best. So yummy. Um, so anyway, I'm going to put you on a time lapse and let's get baking. Good morning guys, today is a new day and we need to carry on baking. I feel like I abruptly just ended the vlog last night. I mean, I didn't even come on and say I'm ending the vlog. Um, but yeah, basically what happened is, I feel like that bit of hair sticking up. Um, I was baking and what went wrong? I'm trying to think, I can't even remember, but I just know I was so stressed. Oh yeah, so I assembled the cake, started like, um, do you know what I mean, doing the crumb coat and all of that good stuff. But one, I couldn't find my favourite scraper. I just feel like this isn't sharp enough. Um, and two, I don't think my buttercream is at the right consistency. Also, like, I feel like one thing I've learned with decorating cakes and like buttercream and getting a smooth surface on the outside is the cake needs to be cold. Like when the cake is cold, like when you put it in the freezer, that's what a lot of bakers do. It is so much easier. I obviously didn't have time for that, so I'm trying to like do you know what I mean? Do the crumb coat and like obviously decorate on something that's not like set and cold. So anyway, I'll show you where I got up to. It's awful. Like I'm looking at this morning like why did I put that in the fridge like that? I should have sorted it a bit more. This is, this is it. <laughs> and I feel like you can't even see like the love art shape of it now. Um, but yeah, anyway, that I need to go over that obviously. Um, and I've definitely put too much buttercream on. Um, but I've run out of buttercream now. So annoying. So, um, yeah, I'm going to nip to the shop and get some more supplies to do some buttercream. I feel like people never, like, well, underestimate how much, like, buttercream stuff you need for decorating. Like, you need a lot. Like, I've got some that I saved from yesterday. I've just got it out of the fridge just to, um, you know what I mean, like, soften. Uh, I think I'm going to use that for the pipe and I'm going to add some pink to that and use it for the pipe in. But I just need just a little bit more just to do, like, cover the outside. So we're going to nip to Tesco and get some bits of that. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to shut up. Let's go Tesco, get bacon supplies, and then I'm not going to stay out for too long. I do this thing where, because, like, working at home, I don't know, like, sometimes I just get, like, itchy being in the house on my own all day, like, working from home, filming from home, editing from home, doing admin at home. So sometimes I'm like, oh, I just like to mooch out for a bit and just, do you know what I mean? But I can't because I have got things to do at home today. So yeah, I'm merely just gonna go Tesco for the stuff I need, come back, do the car, finish the cake, and then hopefully get on to my next video. So right, let's go. Right, guys, this um little nip out to Tesco has ended up being a lot longer than expected. So when I left the house at 20 past 11 it's now nearly one o'clock um so i actually nipped in mums because i needed to print it off my postage labels for some vintage that i was sending off so i did that but ended up speaking to mum and obviously amelia because she's there um so yeah i think i was there for like a good hour just chatting away this is what i mean like i just sometimes need that though in the day like i need a little chat and just to kind of boost morale up <laughs> Um, and then yeah, I've just come to Tesco, posted my vintage here in the locker things they have. Honestly, I'm like having to work out how all this works. It's so like 
new to me um and then yeah nipped into tesco and got the bits they didn't have like a small icing sugar so i've had to buy a big one but it's fine because it will last me and i have got some cakes coming up that i'm going to be doing um i also picked up some cream because i don't know if i'm doing my buttercream right like to the consistency it needs to be when i'm smoothing my cakes and stuff and i noticed this girl uses like american buttercream where you add cream in um and her cakes always are coming out anyway i'm gonna try it anyway guys i am rumbling and i am being watched by someone in the car next to me that just clicked on unplugging and she was just like smiling she's being really nice <laughs> I was like, oh my god this is so awkward anyway i need to drive and get home and crack on with the things i've got to do instead of procrastinating I quickly sped up now it's not perfect this is my first ever attempt i'm not a professional baker and also may i add i completely messed up with this because it's so hard trying to get things done when the butter isn't like soft so it was quite hard and i really struggled with the first bit but i probably should have changed color here but do you know when you just can't be bothered it just felt like too much effort to then like change the color so yeah i think it'll look so much better if i change the color there and then um i just put i love you and it's so hard to write honestly how these people do like the writing really good as well i will never know but anyway i'm quite chuffed with how it looks like what do you guys think i really enjoyed myself i mean because I over buttercreamed, I don't feel like the love heart is as prominent, but I think you kind of like get the gist, don't you? Um, how adorable though, a mini cake. I've got a little box for it as well, so I'm gonna pop that in. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think and if you're gonna go to B&M and get the little love heart tins and try it yourself. Um, the cake's actually really nice as well, it's red velvet and I have already tried some because I did make some little cupcakes with the extra batter last night. Um, but yeah, the mixture I used will make one cake and also like two cupcakes with it um so yes yeah, perfect amount guys i am literally just editing this video and have come to the end and again realized i didn't realize it was the end and haven't ended the vlog so i just thought i would just say my piece now and obviously this is the end of the vlog because i hate it when it just ends abruptly uh, but yeah i really hope you have enjoyed this vlog i didn't want to make it any longer i thought it'd only be like 40 minutes but it's ended up being 50 um and yeah i shall see you all in my next video Bye bye